Mazali and hello boys and girls. In this video we'll be doing repeated edition. For this video I'll need you to have your book and a pencil. Write the date so long. Let's get started. <laughs> As we start, I need you to count in tens for me. Please count in tens from 10 to 50. Pause the video and start counting. Done? Now I need you to count in fives for me. Please count from 95 to 125. Done? Now please count in twos for me from 196 to 180. That's backwards. Now, please count in threes for me from 30 to 3. That's backwards. I'd like us to look at something. Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. This is a plus sign. A plus sign puts numbers together, giving us one bigger number. I'd like us to look at another sign. Do you know what this is? This is a multiplication sign, or the time sign. Do you know what it does? The time sign also makes numbers bigger, just like the plus sign. But this one tells you to count a certain amount of times using one number in the number sentence. I'm sure you know what I mean. The plus sign and the multiplication sign both make numbers bigger. Except, when it comes to repeated addition, the plus sign does it a little slower and longer than the multiplication sign, which does it much quicker and shorter. Now let's look at a few arrays that will help us understand how we use plus and the multiplication sign in a number sentence that will actually give us the same answer. This is the first array. Remember that we can use arrays facing either this way or that way. It all means the same thing. This is what we call the associative property. I don't think you need to know that, but I'm just explaining it to you because we'll use it later on again. Let's look at the array. How can I count this array? I think I can count it in twos. Let's count. Two, four, six. That makes six. Aha! And when we turn it this way, we would have to count it in threes. Let's count. Three, six. That gave us six again. Whether I count it this way or that way, it still gives me the same number. Let's look at this array to help us make a plus number sentence. That would be 2 plus 2 plus 2, which gives us 6. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus another 2 is 6. That gives us 6. Now let's use the same array, but now we're going to make a times number sentence. Remember I told you it's faster? Hmm, and shorter. Let's see how that's going to happen. Let's look at the array, the array once again. There are one, two, three groups of one, two. Should I say that again? There are one, two, three groups of one, two. This basically means that we have three groups that each have two. How would we write that using the multiplication sign? That would be three times two. Three times two. That would give you six. How would you count that? Two, four, six. Or if you turn it this way, like I taught you, the associative property, it still gives you the same answer. Now we have three groups of two, which is basically the same thing. Three, 
6. 3 times 2, which still gives us 6. Now this is the next array. How would you count this array? I would count it in threes because I see one, two, three rows. I would say three, six, nine. And even if I turn it this way, I would still count it that way. Three, six, nine. Now, I'm going to use this array to make a plus number sentence. How would the plus number sentence be? It would be 3 plus 3 plus 3, which gives us 9. 3 plus 3 plus 3, which gives us 9. Even if I turn it this way, it would still be 3 plus 3 plus 3. Now if I take the same array and make a multiplication number sentence, what would it be? I have one, two, three rows or groups. One, two, three rows or groups. Three rows and each has one, two, three inside. So that would be Three times three. One, two, three times one, two, three, which is nine. Three times three is nine. If I were to look at this array to make a plus number sentence, what would it be? If it was facing this way, it would be one, two, three, four, five. Five plus five. 5 plus 5 is 10. And if I had the same array and was facing this way, you would count it in twos, right? Mm -hmm. That would be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That would be 2 plus 2, which is 4, plus another 2, which is 6, Plus another 2, which is 8, plus the last 2, which is 10. And if I was to use the same array to make a multiplication or times number sentence, what would it be? I would have two rows or two groups that each have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 5. 2 times 5. And if it was facing this way, what would it be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Just like 2 times 5 is 10. Now let's look at this array. How many dots are on this array? Four. There are four dots. Let's count them. Two, four. Let's turn it on the side and see. Let's count them again. Two, four. Now, let's use this array and make a number sentence using the plus sign. What would that be? Of course, that would be 2 plus 2 give us 4. 2 plus 2 make 4. Even if I turn it this way, it still gives us 4. Let's make repeated addition a little more fun. We have Shoma Josie, Casper Yovest, and King Munata. They each have two eyes. What would 
the plus number sentence be? What would the multiplication number sentence be? What is your answer? It should be the same. Should I tell you? The plus number sentence would be 2 plus 2 plus 2. That would give us 6. The multiplication number sentence would be 2, 2 eyes that is, times 3, 3 people that is, would be 6. 2 times 3 is 6. 2, 4, 6. Now we have the last number sentence. I hope you get this one right too. Say we had DJ Zinke, DJ Maporesa, DJ Fresh, and Somizi. And they each drink five glasses of water per day. Mm -hmm. Five glasses of water. What would the plus number sentence be? I want to know how many glasses of water they drink all together. That would be 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. That gives us 20. 20 glasses of water. What would the multiplication number sentence be? We have 4 people. Mm -hmm. Times 5 glasses of water each. What would the answer be? 20. The answer is still 20. Now I hope you had fun. Ask mom and dad to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. Till next time.